How many of you have ever experienced a problem like this? And it usually happens to machines that have significant age. So this belongs to Thomas Rechtenwald. And I noticed when I did a whole house cleaning that when you depress the handle recline pedal, that it's very, very stiff. It's a little hard to see here. And of course you can't feel anything, but to prove a point, get that in frame, I'm gonna depress it the second time. Okay, and you see that it's still above the floorboards here. So this doesn't wanna come down all the way. Yeah. So it's, it's very, very stiff. This can happen over time when you get, oh, and, and this, here's something else here. Let's see if you can see the angle. This will happen over time as the machine ages. Now I'm gonna go and try to uh, put the uh, handle back up into the normal upright and locked position and watch what happens. See, it's lifting up. There. So this should recline and uh, be able to go back to its normal home position, fully upright, easily. Now, what I've done that I didn't advance off camera, I used some very lightweight 3-in-1 oil to oil all the wheels. And as you can see, they spin very easily. So, nothing really all that special is required. Something like this, but a, a light oil. You can use the blue can stuff if you want to. So how about we take a look at this and see how to lubricate uh, either side of these axles right here. And in addition, how about we see what's underneath the hood too? Because I know Thomas said he replaced a uh, belt and brush roll, I believe. So let's see what happens with that. It's an easily solvable problem, and I know it certainly annoys me. And I wanted to fix this before Mrs. Vaclab had a chance to actually run this. So, let's see, come on up, 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 up. There we go. And, ooh, oh, oh. I think we're going to clean that out. <laughs> and, as you can see, you have this little uh, metal brace on this side and same thing on the other side. Now, that little brace requires star driver uh, 20, TX20, that's, that's typical size. So you can solve this problem really with the removal of just four screws. Not uh, not a big deal. There, and you can see we can just we don't actually have to remove it. We can just move it off to the side. You can see everything's very dirty here. So let's see if I can carefully move this over so it doesn't uh, <clears throat> fall over on its own. There's another screw. And I see a very rusty axle. Oh, do I see a rusty axle. Maybe we'll have to take care of that at the same time. Yee. So, yeah, these, these just clip in here. It's not a big deal. Uh, yeah. You know what? How about I take the brush roll out and the belt off and we'll do, we'll do a couple things a little more than i was planning on but i think this machine requires it there, come on out go see nice new brush roll very stiff bristles and let's get that belt off 
And now, well, I mean, we can separate everything if we wanted to. I don't want to go that far, really. But, ugh, well, well, okay, all right. Let's, uh, let's just clean this hall, the whole entire lower housing. I mean, <laughs> yeah, oof. Okay, yeah, look, look at all that. We can, we can clean all that up, I think. Here, these, these just have like little hooks. So they're not, not too difficult to deal with. Come on out, dude. You can do it. Out, out, out. Come on. Okay. One screw here. Oh, there's some dust. Some dirt. A little chunky piece. And uh, how about... Ooh, we get out a vacuum that you haven't seen in a while. Let's see. Can you see me if I do this? How about that? All right. How about a Mila Solaris Electro Plus, otherwise known as an S514? I recognize that handle. How about we use that to clean it out? Ooh. go. Got to get out the big pieces first. Ah. could use an attachment here. Let's see, how about that guy? Junk everywhere, isn't there? See, I'm not sure if that's is this supposed to be here or is that just build up? That's not in very good shape, whatever it is. And I think we'll vacuum that up.
Well, I mean, it's better. Kind of. <laughs> Big belt going right there. Big belt going. You know, this is this is so awful looking. Uh, I think I'm gonna put this in the sink and give it a scrub. It's a nice sunny day out, so it ought to dry quickly. And then we will come back and oil these up right here. See you in a few minutes. Well, while it's certainly not perfect, that's a huge improvement, don't you think? Hey, it's yellow now, not yellow and brown. Instantly clean. Uh -huh. Let's see, I hope you can make that out. It's pretty rusty. Maybe I'll do it like that in an angle. Hopefully you can you can see that right, because man, that is a well, it's in bad shape. All right, gonna get loud, obviously. There you go. Just some gentle 800 grit sandpaper. Nothing too extreme. And nice and smooth. Now that we're all dry, let's get this light speed back together again. So, a lot better than what it was, that's for sure. You know, and I was amazed, one thing with this, uh, this is actually very thick plastic. This is this is a typical thinner plastic, you know, it kind of moves around pretty easy. This is much thicker, and I was really pleasantly surprised, so I think, I think that's great. All right, let's see if we can hook these little dudes in here, but before we do that, let's give it a little juice. I don't need a whole lot, but something would be nice. There you go. You can even put some down here, if you like. Just a couple drops, really. Not a big deal. I'll just use my finger. Wipe up any excess. And reapply as necessary, but it's not going to happen that often. Up we go. Come on over. Look. And these are the uh, star driver screws. Is that in there? 
I don't want to over tighten. That'd be terrible to strip it out. Oh, wait a minute. I got a lot more to go here. <laughs> it's like something felt funny. So I have, I have more to go. Come on. You can do it. I'm sitting there looking at it. I'm like, something isn't quite right. So let's see. Belt would be nice have that in here come on over here mr. belt then we'll put this side in swing that dude over there oh, come on you can do it get underneath there dude need some more working room down here not getting hooked in very well there we go sometimes you need a little more room well this video started out just being something where I wanted to grease these uh, These hinges up and then ended up kind of doing like a mini refurb so I'll have to figure out what I'm gonna title the video is it a refurb or is it a kind of like explanation or demonstration all right that seems pretty good yeah and that's oh that's that's nice yeah that is that is super nice okay so down we go and down we go and yeah, everything, everything sits about as flat as it's going to sit. One brush roll later. Let's see, I think I can roll this dude in. Let's also check the alignment while we're here. Come on, over there. Finger pinch time. Uh. Don't need that. See, I think you can see that all right. All right, let's see what it does for an alignment. Oh, that's so much easier. Looking to make sure that the belt stays as close to being in the middle between these two points as possible. That was that's what we want. That would be great. Well, that is literally about perfect. It's not rubbing even yeah i think you can see that even up here it's almost got like a little rub guide it's a little rusty but uh yeah it's not rubbing anywhere so that is great let's get the old top back on and then we're done and mrs vac lab can run this and not think that there's anything strangely wrong with it. I think it might smell a little better too. All right, I think we're set. So, let's see if we have any noticeable improvement here so gonna step on the pedal it releases and you know it falls all by itself I literally don't 
have to do anything. I mean, it's just, yeah, it falls down completely by itself. And then when I go to put it, say, all the way down, let's see if it makes a difference. It does. It's, it's almost all the way down to where the hose hits these boards down here. So obviously that's gonna that's gonna bring it up a little bit, but yeah, nice. And then it'll lift up a little bit, I suppose. Yep. So that is that's that's wonderful. Okay. That was really what our goal was here. <laughs> Ended up uh, making a much longer video than what I thought. So stay tuned for more videos featuring the Lightspeed.